Hello, this is Dallin, and I'm going to just show you a couple of tips and tricks that uh, I use on my Android phone. This is an, a Virgin Mobile LG Optimus V phone. Uh, it's based on the LG Optimus 1, which is actually um, has variants on several different carriers. Uh, and so that this is the Virgin Mobile version of it. Uh, it's a great phone, um, fantastic plan. Uh, I'm, I pay $40 a month for 1,200 minutes and unlimited data and texting. Uh, and the phone cost me $150 at Radio Shack. Uh, there's probably uh, different pricing depending on where you are. But uh, I've had the phone for a couple months now and uh, it's awesome. So I just wanted to show you a couple of tips and tricks, things that I, use, that, that I do on this phone to get the best performance out of it. Uh, I highly recommend, and, and these things will apply to pretty much any phone running Android 2.2. Uh, but first thing I wanted to show you was this Quick Settings app. And I have it on my home screen here. This Quick Settings app basically just puts all in one place, all of the uh, main settings on the phone that you would want to toggle on or off or, or have uh, quick access to. So you can arrange it however you want. This is basically how I have it arranged because I toggle back and forth between my 3G connection and Wi-Fi quite a bit. You can also make your phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot using this app even though there is no utility that comes with the Virgin Mobile LG Optimus V. You can use quick settings to kind of get around that and create your own Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, you can actually set a password on your Wi-Fi hotspot as well. If you just hold it down, uh, it will actually take you into configuring your Wi-Fi hotspot with a password, um, you know, turning it on and off, etc. So there are other settings that you can that you can put in here as well, uh, or that you can add to your most common settings and to do that you just simply hit the settings button and hit customize and it will show you all of the possible features that it has and all you do is simply whatever you want to have access to you just drag it up into the, the, the visible area all the ones that you don't want to see you just drag down into the hidden settings area it's that easy so I highly recommend this app. Great app, once again, uh, gives you access to all the major features that you want to have access to. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you, I've had a lot of questions about battery life. Uh, battery life on Android phones in general is pretty spotty, unless you have like a really, really good phone with a beefy battery. Um, chances are you're going to drain your battery pretty quick if you use it a lot. So one of the things that I do to conserve battery life is I turn off background data. Now this means that you won't have access or you won't get notified like for your apps like your email apps or maybe you have social networking like Twitter or Facebook. You will not get real-time notifications if background data is turned off. However, your battery life is going to be probably doubled from what you're, you're used to if you have background data enabled. So. To do that, it's really easy. Just I do it from the home screen. I just hit the settings button. I go to settings, accounts, and sync. So at the top here, you see background data. You just uncheck that, and your background data is turned off, and it won't keep trying to sync your accounts real time in the background um, and drain your battery. Another thing that I do to conserve battery is I actually turn off data altogether. I'll go into my quick settings app and I will actually turn off Wi-Fi and turn off mobile data and that conserves the battery even that much more. And I only use, you know, only turn your data connections on when you actually need to check your email or your social networking or whatever. So those are just a couple of tips and tricks that, that I use to get the most out of my phone. One more that I neglected to tell you about that I just thought about. There is an app called Auto Memory Manager. And this in the background will manage the available memory to your phone. 
dynamically and it has some different settings that you can use aggressive mild default I use the aggressive and basically you can choose how much memory you allocate to foreground applications visible applications secondary server hidden applications etc etc so another good app that just kind of runs in the background so if you have any questions about uh, these tips and tricks that I've showed you feel free to email me geekloop at gmx.com and look forward to hearing from you later